overnight confusion for New York schools and businesses as a judge strikes down the state's mask mandate, saying Governor Kathy Hochul's rule for public indoor spaces is unconstitutional. The governor vowing to fight back, and some districts saying they were told by the Department of Education that schools must continue to follow the rule. Leaving uncertainty for parents and kids this morning, as more than one million children in the U.S. have contracted the virus in a single week, there's renewed pushback against mask rules in other states. Students in Utah returning to schools without a mandate. The same is true in Virginia, where seven school districts are challenging the governor's statewide ban on mask requirements. I honestly don't want my kids in masks forever, but they know it's the right thing to do to protect others. In Los Angeles, the nation's second largest school district now says cloth masks won't cut it and will provide students and staff with surgical grade face coverings, which must be worn at all times. We need to learn to adapt so that we will survive COVID. And that does mean, for example, uh, upping our mask game. It comes as pockets of the country pass Omicron's peak. Top doctors are warning the latest COVID wave may not be the last. The worst case scenario would be that when we do that, we get another variant that might be difficult, that would elude some of the protection from vaccination. The cautious outlook comes amid a national drop in new infections, but more than 2,200 people are dying each day, and 16 states are still seeing cases spike. Meanwhile, COVID mitigation tools promised by the Biden administration are finally getting into the hands of Americans. Free at-home test kits are starting to be delivered, and pharmacies in the Midwest are already distributing high-grade face masks with availability expected to expand by Friday. The FDA is also ending the use for now of two monoclonal antibody treatments, saying the treatments made by Regeneron and Eli Lilly are not effective against the Omicron variant. The FDA adding both treatments could be used later in the pandemic as new variants emerge. Savannah. Interesting, Miguel. Thank you very much. Uh Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.